something else was affecting her work with Peter. They have sexual urges. I'm sure Peter had plenty of thoughts along those lines. Peter liked to be with me. He would rub himself on my knee or my foot or my hand or whatever, and I, and I allowed that. I didn't, I wasn't uncomfortable with that, as long as it wasn't too rough. Peter had caused Margaret some minor injuries on her legs and stuff, of pushing like an obsessed suitor. In, in the beginning, when he would get rambunctious and, and have this need, I would put him on the elevator and say, you go play with the girls for a day. But as Peter's urges grew more frequent, the process of transporting him down to the two female dolphins to satisfy him proved disruptive. And Margaret felt the best way of focusing his mind back on the lessons was to relieve his desires herself manually. It was just easier to incorporate that and, and let it happen. It was very uh, precious, it was very gentle. Uh, Peter was right there, he knew that I was right there. Again, it was sexual on his part, it was not sexual on mine, sensuous perhaps. We've just become part of what was going on, like an itch, just get rid of that, we'll scratch it and we'll be done, move on. And, and that's really all it was. <laughs> I was there to get to know Peter. That was part of Peter. It was great that she wasn't going to be damaged by that, but uh, as a veterinarian, I wondered about poor Peter. This dolphin was madly in love with her. Margaret. Margaret and Peter's relationship was continuing to deepen.